Hey all, this is Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. Um, this is not an easy one. Five days ago, I, I put up a video about uh, some new fishies. Um, I got uh, 10 Serape Tetras and 10 uh, Black Skirt Tetras along with uh, a new 40 gallon breeder tank that I've got coming up. And this is the second time I bought fish from this one big box store, and it will be the last. Within 24 hours, most all the Serape Tetras were dead. In three days, they were all gone. Um, and today, or yesterday, uh, day four, today's day five, uh, the last of the Black Skirt Tetras died. I'd put them in this tank behind me. So, two big mistakes. First off was buying from this one big box store. They've always got great deals on aquariums, so you know who I'm talking about. It's always 50% off. And no complaints about that. And I'll tell you what, the, the plastic tubes that they sell plants in, they've always got nice plants. But I will never buy fish from them again. I think uh, what, the next day, uh, I was already starting to see signs of what looked like ick on, on uh, the black skirt tetras that was most noticeable. Uh, I don't know why the, the Serapes just, they just dropped off. Uh, I went through all the proper acclimation. I even did that in the video, how I floated them for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I opened the bags, and then I slowly added tank water uh, for about a half an hour, and about three or four times I added tank water, and then I, uh, to, to, you know, acclimate them to, to this water, which ultimately should be about the same water uh, parameters as uh, uh, the store that I bought them in as far as hardness and, and pH anyway. Um, and in this tank, there's these two, a uh, couple, couple angel fish. Uh, the one orange koi down there hiding, I don't know if you can see him in this. Uh, he's the one that I did a quick video. He got stuck between the rocks and kind of between the rock and a hard place between the, the uh, one of these long rocks and the side of the tank upside down. Uh, I rescued him. He's marred, uh, but he was looking like he was getting some sort of, I, I don't know, maybe like a fin rod or something. Um, he looks all right now. I put some Indian almond leaves in, and some alder cones. Tannins are supposed to help. Uh, I didn't want to just medicate the whole tank. Uh, I didn't think that would be a good idea. But anyway, uh, yeah, all those, all uh, 20 of those fish, with within four days gone. So I'm gonna, I've got them all. Or most of them, I'm sure, you know, I, I found another one of them yesterday uh, in this tank. Um, I'm going to take them back, get a refund. Uh, you know, I, I, based on having 20 aquariums and several hundred fish, I don't think it's me. The part that was me was not inspecting the fish more closely before I bought them buying them from that place and then not having a quarantine tank. Uh, if nothing happens in this tank, I'll be really lucky and very grateful. And I hope nothing happens uh, in this tank. Because I really like this tank. It's dark now because of the tannins from the Indian almond leaf and from uh, the two alder cones. Um, they're supposed to have antimicrobial ten or properties, so that's, that's why I threw them in. Uh, and there's uh, bronze quarries in here. There's uh, a couple hillstream loaches. There's one or two blue dream shrimp. There are, uh, uh, did I say clown loaches? There's clown loaches in here. So, and plus these two angels and a bunch of uh, 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 ram's horn snails. And I don't want to lose any of them. I hate losing fish. I really hate losing fish. And especially if I could have had something to do with it to, to not, you know, so it didn't happen on my watch anyway. But I thought I'd just uh, share this with you all because, you know, it's one of those things where uh, uh, shit happens. Uh, and I'm guessing it's probably happened to most of us at one point in time. And, uh, and it's never easy. It's never fun. And, and it's one of those things we have to... Uh, uh, address we have to be willing to admit to if we made mistakes because uh, that's the only way we're ever going to learn is to admit to our mistakes and and find ways to rectify them so we don't make the same mistakes twice 
uh, it's only a failure if we keep making the same mistakes over and over and expecting different results. It's also a definition for insanity, and I don't want to be that fish keeper. But anyway, uh, I'm really grateful for y'all watching this. Uh, I know it's kind of a rant. Uh, once in a while, uh, I rant, and I know once in a while others of you rant, and sometimes they're good to hear, uh, making a good point. Um, and I really appreciate it. And just because I'm going to share something with you here, uh, Garage Aquatics 2023 has uh, some new merch. It is, I like the little fish, and I cannot lie. And there will be a link in uh, the description down below to uh, our, uh, our store, which is garage-aquatics.com. And I hope we'll see you there. And there's usually, I think, a 15% discount. For my YouTube family in in that uh, in that store. So anyway, y'all take care, and I'll catch you on the rebound. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks for watching.